Cruz. I saw this in the documentary. This is it right here. Is it? I think it's after. Yeah, just don't let this guy go past them. Oh, is this it right here? Here's a three car garage. Right here. Oh, it's shut. God damn it. No, it's no, open. It's open. Oh, my God. You weren't kidding. Yeah. This is, this is, they just had a lot of rain, so. But if you didn't know where the road was. Oh God, you never find that. Right. I thought the gate was closed there for a second. I was like, son of a bitch. So to, 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 to think that some person drove down this road and nabbed him while he's in the woods That's is a bit much. I mean, it was seven years ago, but the road, I'm sure, was still in questionable condition. I mean, you'd hear a vehicle, right? You'd hear, wouldn't you hear a vehicle coming down the road? It's not like you'd speed out of here very quickly. Right, and you're trying <laughs> to get a guy, you know, even if he's 82, he's still going to raise a, uh, a fuss trying to get the vehicle. You're not going to shove him in the vehicle. And, and oh, Jesus. And uh, nobody's going to hear it. Just to keep an eye out for things I don't want to get a flat tire. I mean, right, if you didn't know exactly where the road was, would you find that fucking thing? Oh, God, never. Honestly, I would have thought it would have been somebody's driveway. I still want to get a pop tire on these, uh, some of those sharp rocks. Out of here, right? The camera takes a pretty good picture with the, even though it's dark. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Mm. Yeah, I was worried because Mike is right on my ass, and like, instead of staying back a little bit, the first time we slammed, somebody's almost slammed right in the back of him. He's got to stay back about, you know, 100 mm. yards. Especially when we don't know where we're going. And they went all the way to the end of this? Yes, there's a parking lot at the end. Is that another stump? So in one of these trees, I should have measured it how far we're in. There's a cross 
and I think maybe some dried flowers, but I think there's a cross to where that was the last known position. Also, oh, it wasn't right by like the parking area? He was 400 yards up. They were 100 yards apiece, right? The hunters were 100 yards apart. Okay. Right? So there's uh, Hunter 1, Hunter 2, Hunter 3, and then him. And then, Probably snowmobile trail, there's a lot oh, of snowmobiles yeah, there. Snowmobile yeah. Jeez Louise. <laughs> yeah, you definitely wouldn't make it up this with a car. Yeah. Some of these arcs are sharp too. So this tree with the cross on it, is it close enough to this? It, sh yeah, it should be right on the road. they came back, the Messick family came back on the second or third anniversary uh, and placed the cross on one of the trees. I mean, it's thick here. Who's, nobody's going to come and take this guy, right? That's my point right here. Somebody's going to drive down here yes. and see a guy 40 yards in the road and nab him and take him out, or they're going to turn around. This is very thick. You can't turn around. So that theory goes right out the window that somebody took him. I mean, it was, it was November, so it wasn't as thick with the ground covering, but the trees are still thick. And you can't turn a vehicle around here without attracting a hell of a lot of attention. You know, I think... And what, this, this isn't private? This is state land. This is the uh, Lake George Wilderness Area. Is this, like, very well known, this road, or...? I think by the locals probably, but I don't think it's, you know, locals have like a little camp, a little party area maybe, but I don't think that's in November, right? It doesn't look like anybody's been down the road today. With the puddles. Kind of remind me of Crystal Lake back home. Yeah. If you don't know where it is, you're never going to find it. And even if you know where it is, it's hard to get to. You want me to keep filming or should I? Yeah, we're almost there. I like to have the whole thing on tape so I can show it to people online and show them how deep this is and how far in this is and how it's impossible for the guy to walk out or it's impossible for somebody to come. <laughs> Let's just hold it in your hand.
Yeah, so you see what I mean about somebody coming down here and trying to take somebody and get out of here? It was about two miles in from the road when I did it on the map. I think that's what they said it was. One way in and one way out. Yeah. So. I mean, there are places, small places you could turn around, but I mean, you're not even near where he is yet, or, or he, where he was yet, I, I believe. I haven't seen anything. This will be good. I'll put this on. Uh, I'll put this on our channel with facing us and you dual dual view. All right? It's a split screen. <laughs> yeah. Just to give people an idea how freaking remote this is. Uh, somebody came by and took them. They, they kidnapped them. What? And this is the height of 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 boating season here. This is probably one of the better conditions this road's going to be in. It's not going to get any better towards the end of middle or the middle of November. Okay, we may have passed where he was, but I think because I think we're coming up to the. Yeah, you know, there's a pond in the parking area, so. I don't think the road keeps going though. It doesn't. No, well, it might keep going, but it dead ends at a pond, you know that. Well, this is the bog. I think there's a bog here. Yeah, so that was behind him, I believe. Watch the, watch the bushes. Boy, it gets tight through there, huh? <laughs> Definitely does. I'm just trying to look out for that tree. You said it was close to this? It's, it's on, it should be up here, I think, for, if I remember my map correctly. And it's on this side. You would hear vehicles coming in here. Now the cross, is it a wood cross? I don't know, it just looks like a small cross. Last time I saw a picture of it, it had some dried flowers on it, but that was years ago. So that wouldn't be there. I mean, this is thick right here, super thick. There's a blue marker. crazy back here, huh? That'd be something if we were on the wrong road. Son of a gun. Snowmobile trail. Yeah, it looks like this road goes still for a ways. Huh? 
two miles. So we're only going 10 miles an hour. It takes about 20 minutes to get in there. See, so I have a hard time believing that he went back to the marsh, somehow walked that way up the road, you know? Still, uh, you having a hard time with that? To come in and clear the road. That's nice, at least. Maybe they should fill in some of these potholes while they're at it. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm sure they can tell by the by us moving that it's quite. be close to the pond. Yeah, I see it coming up on the map. Hmm? I see it coming up on the map. Okay, so here's the other marsh. There's two marshes. Eventually see the pond. Can you believe we've, we haven't even gone two miles yet? <laughs> it seems like. And I'm going to come back here and take a hunter out of the woods. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, look at that rock. I bet Mike is uh, loving this right now. Oof. Boy, that one hurt. Oof. Jesus. You now we're almost there. I can see the pond in the map. Yeah, you're right. So the trees got to be coming up here soon. I think we might be in for the night instead of going all the way back out and all the way back in. Yeah. Should, should have brought his equipment with him. I didn't realize the road was going to be this long and this bad. Yeah, I didn't, definitely didn't. I thought it was going to be like the Allegheny Park. So did know? I, to tell you the truth. But obviously with that big rainstorm. There's a big rock right there. Yeah, there's a tree down right here too. Oh, nice. You want to get out and push that up? Do I? Just kind of push it out of the way. Can you push it like, there you go. I'm coming through, hang on. He's coming. Yet. Oh yeah, this is what we came for, right? <laughs> this is, you know. Hmm. 
Mikey's going, I wish I would have brought my stuff. <laughs> he was he was laughing at me as I walked by. That's what we need to get in our kit is a a little uh chainsaw. They have those little battery powered chainsaws now that are pretty badass. I actually have a, a reciprocating saw with um a wood uh branch trimmer. Oh there you go. Something like that to clear the path. Okay, the lake's coming up. We've got to be close. Yeah, we've been we've only been in here for 15 minutes. It seems like forever, but it's been 15 minutes. I timed it. I'll just put that down a little bit for me. You can see the pond. Off. You don't need to move the camera, but you can start seeing the pond. Another quality Derek Geiger production. <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> it never fell out before. No, it's because uh, it's getting so bumpy that I end up pushing against the windshield. Uh, to hold, to hold it. it. Yeah. yeah. That's fine if it bounces a little bit. Okay, so we've got to be. got to be right around here somewhere, unless somebody took it off or fell off. Do you remember if it was like on a... It was on, it was on a, look, it looked like a good sized maple tree or an okay. oak tree. I see a lot of like white birch, not one or something Yeah, no, like it that. looked, but I mean it could have fallen off easily, right? It was f four years ago. Yeah, I don't see it. We must have passed it, but here we are at the pond. Oh, I got fire pits and stuff here, too, for camping. Yeah. When we come back, we should camp out. Off-road vehicles prohibited. So that is Lily Pond Road traveled by me and Derek for the Catskill Appalachian Research <laughs> Collective. That kind of puts to bed the theory that someone came down the road and swiped them, correct? I think it Yeah, would. so we'll be right back.